Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to Surlim Ultimate. First thing I'll mention is that, um, annoyingly, I think maybe due to a Windows update, or maybe because uh, my computer froze up and crashed, something caused my mic settings to get reset to the system defaults. So it was way off from the levels that I usually have it set at. And so I've had to go in and then readjust everything. The problem is that I'd forgotten what the precise settings were. So when I went back, I had to basically re-listen to everything else and rebalance, you know, the mic versus the game audio. And I think I've kind of gotten it to where uh, I like it. But if you notice some slight differences in kind of the balancing of my commentary versus the game sounds, then that's the reason. And I might, you know, make further adjustments in the next few episodes, you know, fine-tuning it. But anyway, that's just something I wanted to give you a heads up about, just in case you noticed something a little bit different about how this episode sounds. That's enough about that. In this episode, I think we just have one realm to do. We've already rolled ourselves a nice uh, item bonus from the previous episode. The reason we have only one realm to do is because I think the realm after this, we're going to be fighting a false god. And I usually have those in their own separate episodes, you know, these big major boss fights. And I think we're just going to go for it. We're just going to do a random realm. And we're gonna see what lies in store for us. Before I do that though, let me check my Rune of Prophecies. What remains for us to be d uh, One experiment. Uh, we've got to defeat a god, we've got to defeat 4080. We, we can do that at the end. And what is this? We've got to defeat a false god as well. Are we doing an experiment though? Is my. We're not, because I stupidly started a forage mission. Uh, should I...? Uh, it's gonna be a big waste. Actually, you know what? We haven't made any progress on this key forge mission, so for a brief moment, I am going to uh, cancel this key forge mission. We'll lose the granite that we spent to start it, but, you know, it's not like we have any shortage. And in its place, we'll start an experiment mission. Yeah, we have done it, right? Yes. So, a bit of a... bit of a misplay on my part, not, uh, realizing we had one more experiment to do. I thought there was, uh, only one, but sometimes... These uh, prophecies will require you to do two. Oh, and you know what? Let's also quickly play some slot machines while we're at it. I think you are the slot machine guy. No, you're the scratch card guy. That's, you're the slot machine guy. So let's just spend three tickets and uh, see if we can get anything. Nothing there. Nothing there. I feel like almost something there, but nothing in the end. Nothing there as well. Oh, what a scam. There was that one time where we got a really awesome payout from the slots, but other than that, it's really just... you. It seems like you don't get... Uh, stuff as consistently as you get in other things. Anyway, enough dilly-dallying. Let's uh, go straight into it. We are in the torture chamber and uh, we've got... The mission is to collect a bunch of robes, which we'll do. We've also got some... Uh, Optional combats, but ooh, I got some buffs. I didn't get a chance to see what the buff was because 
we were confronted by this enemy so quickly. Oh, and we should actually see what the uh, rest of the uh, realm properties are. Enemies have extra health, and extra intelligence, and a chance to resist damage. And stats are swapped. That means... Uh, stats are swapped. That means sometimes their stats will be very strange. Oh, hey. Uh, Low-level netherstone. I'll take it. I'll take it. What's your... Do you also have rabbit dementia? You also have rabbit dementia. I think we'll try to... win our combats like this with one strong solid punch more attack is definitely gonna help oh and yeah what buff did we get we enemies have bomb and we have proficient that seems like it's good I guess and I guess we'll do some optional combats too Uh, we came close to killing them on our first turn with the animators, but not quite. But our, uh, Centaur Duelist on cleanup duty took care of the rest of them. Ooh, this is probably our master. Defensive, enemies are vulnerable, sure, I'll... Take it. Ooh, we're getting treasure from those as well. That's nice. Um, nice. Solid hit. Should be the end of these guys. Unless they get really lucky with resisting damage. So far in this realm, we found one very mediocre nether stone. And other than that, ooh, that's a bit of a rough start to this combat. But I think we can recover. Our Rift Dancer is going to come back as well. And corpse explosions are hopefully going to. Seal the deal. Okay, there we go. Somehow this feels like a very dicey situation, even though we're not doing that badly. Uh, what are you? Oh, he resisted a lot of damage. But he took a big hit right at the end, which I think is going to finish off the rest of these as well, because they take a percentage damage of uh, the damage that we do. Alright. Some treasure from that cage. Good stuff. Alright, let's keep going. Divination candle enemies? We'll see. Well, let's fight the master first, and if... Uh, we still have a spring in our step after that, then we could do some divination candle action. Alright, this isn't going too badly. Some nice treasure in there. Here, some more buffs. Berserk. And these are bleeding. Not the greatest collection of buffs and debuffs. But you know what? It's fine. Okay, we haven't gotten any really exciting things happen so far in this realm, apart from that low level nether stone. But there's still parts of the map that we have not explored. So let's see what's in there. And, uh,. There are no more wandering enemies. 
So all we have left is uh, the, uh, the master. And of course, we've got to finish the realm as well. But before I finish the realm, I'd like to fight the master first. Should just do reincarnation. And then this should finish them off. They're definitely being very annoying with the damage that they're resisting, but. Ooh, fighting lepers is tough because uh, of the uh, corpse explosion. But as long as we go first, we should be reasonably okay shape. All right, all right, and then there's one more. Uh, oof. There's one more of those. These things, fight some more lepers, and we're getting a whole bunch of turns before them, so I think we're fine again. Despite them resisting a whole bunch of uh, damage. There we go. 50 more favor. And now let's go and speak to our uh, friend. The master of carvers. Okay. This should be not too difficult, I don't think. Well, th that one guy is gaining a bunch of stats, but he's already dead, so that's good. These guys are weirdly tanky, but again. This guy, yeah, took a while to die. Probably it's because of the stats being swapped. They probably had, like, really high defense or really high health. But we took care of that, uh, without too much trouble. And now the only thing left to do is to win the realm, which we've done. And we've reached rank 29 as well. And some more treasure, too. And, you know what, let's, uh, summon some Urulos Knights. Let's, yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and do 20 of them. Because we're only doing one realm in this episode, so we should at least... Should at least try to, uh, make the most of it. That's going to be a bit slow because of the way these enemies work, but maybe, just maybe, we'll uh, get the card from, from one of these guys. Uh, so slow, but not that bad actually. The main thing is, I don't want them to get any turns, because that would be really annoying. Okay. And there is one in this uh, little offshoot room, so we'll take care of you quickly. Good, good hit. That should be the end of them. Right. Okay, okay. How many of these guys have we fought? Probably had more than a hundred combats with them without Okay, without them having uh, given us our card. Let's 
too bad, too bad. Oh yeah, double cast rather than Dementia. And for some reason we're dead. Uh, well, the Animatus is dead. I guess one of them had a damage reflection for some unknown reason. But anyway, yeah, it's uh, definitely one of the uh, grindier parts of the game. I'm trying to hunt down. Uh, Trying to track down these cards from enemies, but you know what? It's got to well, that guy just exploded. If only he'd taken the rest of his friends with them, but I guess they were a bit too sturdy. Again, I think the stats being swapped might be playing a role in that. Oh, that. God, this guy is just resisting all the damage. It's so un just just die, dude. Just get lost. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We've got like, plenty of them to kill. I'm not summoning any more of them after this. Just die. Just yeah, okay. I'm not summoning any more of them because while it's tolerable to fight a few of them, it's just barely at the cusp of what I'm willing to accept and what is too annoying to do, especially on a you know live recording. Even if I was farming by myself, I probably wouldn't want to spend too much time fighting these guys, especially if occasionally they're just going to get really lucky rolls and resist all my damage and force me to take a whole extra turn. Really annoying. Okay, is there anybody down? We should take care of the guys down here first. Just be methodical. Sweep through this area. This damage resistance making things a bit of a... It's making it a bit of an ordeal. Not that bad, but just... Yeah, just just a wee bit... A wee bit uh, on the slow side. And of course, them slowing things down further with all these stat gains that they're getting. I will be really happy when we're uh, done fighting these guys. I'll be really, really happy. Right. That was a good hit. This should finish off these guys again, unless they get really lucky. Resisting damage and with like six of them, chances are actually pretty high that one of them is going to be really annoying and you know, just resist a whole bunch of... Uh, damage that we should have taken, but didn't. Right, another good hit. Let me just check how long this video has been going. Not long at all. We were very uh, efficient. So I think what we'll do is, after we're done with these, I'm not summoning another 20. That's not, that's not the way we're going to have extra things to do in this video. Uh, you know, just make sure it's not too short. I think what we'll do after we're done killing these last five guys is we're going to uh, go to the Gate of the Gods, we'll spend one key, and we're going to try and take down uh, 40 80, because we have a uh, Rune of Prophecy's quest to kill that specific god. We'll try and do that. Hopefully we don't have to... Oh god. This guy's so tanky. Oh, now five of them are gonna go. Oh my god. This is agony. And the bomb is just barely not enough damage to kill them. And they killed my unicorn, so he can't even... Can't even do anything about it, or I just... Rapid dementia, please. Attacking the same tanky target. This time, he 
died, and you also attacked the second target, so the remaining enemies should be taking some hefty damage. One will these last three enemies who are conveniently all in the same place. Will one of them be kind enough to give us this card that we've been searching for? Oh no. I... But at least we get a second turn after that. Okay. Just rabbit dementia again. Hopefully this ends the combat. This group is... Significant. Probably one of the tankiest groups we've fought yet. I guess when the stats are swapped... Uh, when the stats are swapped. Hard to tell exactly what you'll end up getting. But yeah. Last couple of them... And finally the last one. Are you going to give me the card? Or this is going to be yet another disappointment. Well, at least you, you died quickly. So even though you did not give me the card, at least you didn't waste too much of my time. Alright, now I think we're done. Let's go back to Serlem. Don't really have any quests to hand in, but let's quickly pop down to the Gate of the Gods and uh, we're gonna be fighting 4080. We're just gonna be fighting him on level 1. When an enemy attacks or casts a spell on one of his creatures or would debuff them or would reduce their stats they have a 50% chance to perform these actions on themselves instead. Okay, this could be very, very tricky. It's like our creatures are permanently confused. However, I think there's a way around that. So... Battle request accepted. Prepare to die painfully. I, I like 4080's concept, I like his aesthetics. But I think the way around that is we use reincarnation, which is neither an attack nor a uh, debuff nor a spell. It's indirect damage, so this should be fine, I think. Well, I mean, there's only one way to find out. I am I correct about this? Uh, what happened? What, what did you do? How... This... Okay. See, now that, that doesn't make... That's not fair, because... I wasn't targeting one of his creatures. I was not targeting one of his creatures. I was targeting one of my own creatures. I was targeting one of my own creatures. His, uh... His... Like, the description of his trait is inaccurate. Because I was not targeting... Let, let's read it once again. Attacks or casts a spell on one of your creatures. Like... Your... From his perspective, is one of his creatures. Because the, the reverse version of that wouldn't make sense. If by your creatures they literally mean my creatures... Why would I be debuffing my own creatures, right? Like, why would I be attacking my own creatures? So obviously it's referring to his creatures, but it's... It's also applying to spells that I'm casting legitimately on my... Oh, 
on my own creatures. That, uh, yeah. This is a little, uh... A little dubious, the way... This, uh... Thing is... And... What's supposed to be a 50% chance seems to have happened every single time. Every single time. Yeah, something's a little... Something's a little wonky. Yeah, hang on. How, like... Why is this... So, like, does he have a 100% chance to just randomly change my target? Yeah, so, something's... Not... Computing about this fight. I guess I should just attack. I, I mean, at that worked, and we won, and we got you know the emblem. We got some mana to summon him eventually. But I yeah, I'm a. I'm not. So. Like, so so I guess every spell, uh, like, unless we failed a 50% roll once, twice, three times, four times, five times, Six times, seven times, eight times, nine times. Unless we failed. Oh, um. Yeah, unless we failed a 50% coin flip nine times in a row, it seems like something about it isn't, isn't adding up. Like, it's not working properly, and the percentage seems to be dubious. I mean, like, theoretically, it's possible that 50% just. Yeah, let's read this. When an enemy attacks or casts a spell, or would afflict them with a debuff, or would reduce their stats, they have a 50% chance to perform these actions on themselves instead. So, yeah, yeah, that's not... Feels like that's not working the way the game says it should be working. But anyway, I guess we shouldn't complain too much. We won in the end. The reason I am complaining is because we are going to have to fight all of these gods properly later on. So if some of them have, like, broken mechanics which aren't working the way the game says, then that is going to be an issue. That's going to be an issue. But that's going to be an issue to deal with in uh, the future. For now, I think we're done. done so what we should do is first of all let's confirm that we've got a false god yes next episode the false god is gonna be the lost construct let's roll ourselves a nice item bonus um, I'll try to do it under these conditions it'll be tough but I think we can uh, Maybe make it work. We'll see. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm probably confused. I'll, in between episodes, I'll look up. I'll have to probably go on the forums to see how this fight is actually working. But yeah, for now, let's just be happy that we've won. You know, let's just let's just take that and uh, be satisfied with it. And I think. That's going to be all for this episode. It's a shorter one. We only had one realm to do, and we got through it pretty easily. No uh, real obstacles in our path. And then we did an extra thing. We fought uh, 4080 just to get the prophecy done. And yeah. There was a, a, again, a bit of a strange fight, but we got through it in the end, and that's all that matters. And uh, that, yeah, we did everything 
we set out to do, and then next episode we're going to be having uh, potentially a very difficult boss fight, but I am really looking forward to that one. But anyway, that is going to be all for this episode. Hope you had a good time, hope you enjoyed it, and I do hope I'll see you in the next episode as well, when we will be taking on the uh, Lost Construct False God. But yes, until then, take care.